What up, YouTube? Peace. Hotep, the black man is God. Today, I'm making a video talking about uh, shacking up or, you know, moving in with a woman and the benefits and the drawbacks to it. All right. A lot of people say shacking up is a bad thing and some people say it's a good thing. So I'm going to look at uh, all the bad things that come with shacking up first and then I'll break down all the good things and then I'll do a comparison to the both. All right, first, let's look at the good things. The good things is you have constant access to sex. You're never going to get more sex from a woman than you're shacked up with. You, 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 just, you wake up with her, you go to sleep with her, you're there with her all day. In the beginning of the relationship, it's wonderful. You just It's just sex, 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 sex. And then there's also food. She, you know, you're going to get food, she can cook for you, bring you food. Uh, clean the house for you, you know, just just companionship, you know, you know, so even in the later stages of the relationship, you don't want her to go, you know, you, you, you may not like her, but you just want her to shut up and sit there, you know, you, you, you enjoy company, a company of a woman, and, you know, there's there's a lot of good things to come, you, you learn a lot about women when you see them with their guard down. You know, you see that their true nature. You know, when you're just dating someone, you only see the mask that they put on. But when you live with someone, you see them for who they truly are. And that's pretty much getting into the bad. All right, let's get into the bad. All right, when you, when you live with someone, you see them for who they truly are. So, for example, you know damn near everything about a person when you live with them because you see them in their every step of their life. So when they're on the phone with other people telling them about their lives, you hear these discrepancies. And then it's just like, wow. So if you're lying to them, you're probably lying to me. You know, you're lying to everybody you talk on the phone to. And it's not, it's not like big lies. It's little lies and they're consistent. And sometimes you're lies for no reason. It's like, why are you lying about that? You're just lying just for no reason. You're just lying just to make yourself fit into a category. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's like, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing to live with them. Because, you know, you don't want to see that. You want to live with the illusion. Like that old song, I don't want to know. It's better to not know. The real way that your woman thinks because you you find out you're going to be disappointed all right uh, another bad thing that comes with living with women is the sex in the beginning it's, it's beautiful but at, and after a while you be, it becomes like a brother sister relationship you stay with them so long you know so much about them and you have sex so much that it becomes old and boring and it's nothing exciting about it and another uh bad thing about shacking up is the manipulation the manipulation, when you are constantly having sex with a woman, you lose your fucking mind, all right? Because all men know that after you come, you know, you, you are, you're weak, you're susceptible. And then it's like in that moment, they use your weakness to, to, to manipulate you. And, you know, you're not thinking straight, and, and especially before you have sex. They start, like, they want to have sex as much as you, but they know that they can get you to do things for them at that moment that you're horny. And then after you bust that nut, you probably regret anything you agree to. But, you know, it's just how the game the game goes. You're going to be constantly manipulated if you live with a woman. Whereas if you didn't live with her, she can ask you for something or try to manipulate you, but you're just unavailable. So you can't be manipulated. But if she's always in your presence, then... You're always going to be under some kind of trickery that they got going. All right. Uh, having kids, that's can be considered good or bad, depending on how the woman acts. But it's usually bad because as a man, you have no rights. You have no rights unless you just take the kid away. And then who really wants to raise a kid? But a man doesn't really want to raise a kid by itself. That's horrible. You, It's like an only, only way for you to truly be happy with kids is to leave her so then that's just going to break up the family and then 
you're not really going to be happy. There is no happiness. You're going to get put on child support eventually. And, and if you don't get put on child support, you're just still going to be paying out the ass for the kid. And you're not really going to have a choice in whether you don't want the kid to be vaccinated or where you want the kid, hit his haircut or whatever. It's, it's her kid. Or even if you want the kid to, to, to live. I mean, the kid is initially, you know, conceived in, in her belly. She could decide to kill the kid at any time or put him up for adoption after, after the fact. And you have no choice. You have no stake in the matter. So that's a thing that really hurts guys a lot when they shack up with women and they end up having kids or having to take care of kids that's not theirs. You can get into a relationship with a woman, move in with her, and after you've been with her for a year, now you owe child support because that's just how the game goes. Because if you start taking care of a woman and her kids, now you are obligated to do that by contract. It's like a fucking unwritten contract that you have to... Like, you have to do it. You have to do it. The way the laws are set up, you have to take care of women and their and their kids, even if they're not yours. If you're fucking a woman, by law, you have to pay her. It's, it's just it's how it goes. Unless you're not living with her. And that's why I never really understood why I say, oh, don't live with a woman. I'm like, you crazy? That's the best thing to do because you get to fucking fuck her all the time. But no, you you, you don't live with a woman because she fucks you all the time. All right, uh, but ultimately, I believe that every man should live with a woman at least once in his life because you're living in a lie. You're living in an illusion. Like um, living with a woman is like doing a lot of research on 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 a sub on a sub certain subject. It's like you get you get to, to see inside the mind of a woman, and you may end up getting hurt. You may end up getting burned. You're definitely going to get manipulated in some way. But you're going to get an insight that, like, uh, a lot of people told me not to do it, but I did it anyway several times. And each time I've learned something, you learn. You learn something. Like, I, I don't think I'll do it again in the future if it ever hap- comes up. But, um, yeah, you, you learn a lot. You learn a lot. And to say, oh, with these uh, Mick gal, these people, they say don't don't ever live with a woman. You have to. And they've all they've all done it, and that, but they're telling you not to do it because they learned something bad. But you have to, it's, you live and you learn. You have to learn. And if you don't go through that experience, you will be weak in certain ways. It, it, I mean, you can watch a thousand videos to, to talk about the nature of women, but until you actually live with one, you're not going to actually know how they move and how they operate. So I say that it's a good thing. It's a really good thing to see how they really think about you and how they feel about you because when your boyfriend and girlfriend they they tell you lies and they make you feel like you know women are master manipulators and they have um, emotional skills to make you feel a certain way you know it's all about feelings but then when you actually get get down to the get down it's not really about feelings they women are, are fucking cold women are cold they're manipulating your feelings that's how they just think emotionally but they don't really, it's, it's, it's like a, a logical emotion with them. And we, it, we don't think like that. We think logical logic. You know, and emotion is emotion. These, these are two separate things. But women have logical emotions. And, and, and it's, it, it's like, that's why you should never really trust a woman because everything that they say is it's put through a filter and it's made to fit their reality. It's brilliant. It really is. That's why a woman, is, when she's lying to you, she's not really lying to you. She's basically just kind of leaving things out. She's just, she's giving you her version of the story. You know, that's why they say it's usually three versions of the story. Your version, their version, and the truth. Because it's just, you. You. women have a way. And, and you know what? I have a way of doing this too. And, and I learned it from an early age. Is that you have to... Uh, kind of lie to yourself it's like uh these a lot of the videos that they they uh that i've watched about how we create our own reality is you have to believe it like and it's another thing that i learned when i was younger about uh telling lies like if you want to get away with a lie you have to really believe the lie and that's what creating reality is you have to believe what you want to be true to be true and that's what women do they know the truth and to them what the truth is, and they tell you to them what the truth is. Like, but they know what you could perceive as the truth and they don't 
they don't perceive that as a reality. Your reality is not reality. They have a reality in their head and they want you to conform to it. If you conform to their reality, then they're always right. Always right. They'll say, oh, I'm not always right. But then, but every argument, they always have an excuse and they always have something that makes it that they're always right. That's why a lot of women, they just have no accountability at all because they can always find a way to put the blame off on their parents, put the blame off on their man, put the blame off on society. Or just, so there's always an excuse. There's always a way to get out of just taking responsibility for their own actions. And when you live with a woman, then you really get to see, you know, how they do that or why they do that. Um, you let me know what you think in the comments below. Is it good to check up with a woman? I think so. And I think it's good because it's bad and you're going to learn a lot of things. So uh, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And uh, thank you. I'm out.